In this video, you're gonna learn Stairway to Heaven on the guitar lately. This is the intro part. Hi, I'm Terry Carter, and welcome to Ukulele to Pros. If you're into guitar lately tutorials and reviews and ukulele tutorials and reviews, then this is a spot for you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification. Also, find me over at Instagram, that's at Ukulele to Pros. So, Stairway to Heaven. This came from request from one of the You Collect the Pros members, actually a member of the uh, Guitar Lele course as well, and over at Instagram, at Juicy Juicy Jazz. So, um, thanks for that uh, recommendation. Today we're just gonna do the intro. Okay? This is just the intro part. It's probably the most recognizable part of the song, and it's this. So that's, that's the intro part. Now, a couple things here about the guitar lady. So originally, this was played on guitar, Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin, Jimmy Page, and it's in the key of A minor. So instead of keeping it in the key of A minor, if you remember the guitar lady's tuned up a fifth from the guitar, I'm just gonna play it exactly the way I would play it on the guitar, except because of the guitar lady now, we're gonna be doing this in a key of D minor, okay? So if you try to play this along with the original recording, just know that it's going to sound off, but the parts I'm showing you are exactly the way Jimmy Page played it. All right, so let's just jump right into it. Let me just show you the first, uh, first measure here. Actually, that's just the first half of the measure, but all it is is, is just a, a D minor chord here. And just barring a string one, two, and three at the fifth fret, and then my third finger here on the fourth string, seventh fret. And with my right hand, it's gonna go thumb on the fourth string, index on the third string, middle on the second, and then ring on the first. So just thumb, index, middle, ring. And those are all just all eighth notes. Okay, do that with me. Ready, and. The key to this song is to hold the chords as long as you can. So for example, when you're playing this first D minor chord, notice I'm keeping all my fingers down the whole time. I'm not doing this. Even if bar chords are hard for you, you wanna do it the way I'm showing you, holding it down. It creates a nice smooth and legato sound. So try to keep your fingers down the best you can. All right, the next chord is this. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm, my bar is staying the same. I'm still using my first finger to bar here, but now I'm gonna add my second finger to the fourth string, sixth fret, and then my pinky's gonna come in on the first string, seventh fret. I'm gonna start with the pinch, and that's the pinch between the thumb on the fourth string and my ring finger on the first string. So I'm gonna pinch them together, then followed by middle on the second string, index on the third string, and then back to the first string with my ring finger. So it's gonna go pinch, second string, third string, first string. Okay, do that with me, and. All right, so let's just do that. That's actually just the first measure. These are all eighth notes. Here we go, back to the first chord. Ready, and. All right, now the next chord here, I'm gonna do this, and so I'm, my bar is gonna be the same, except I'm gonna move my bar up to strings one, two, three, and four and I'm gonna reach my pinky to the first string, eighth fret. Okay, so it's gonna be this. Now the right hand pattern is gonna be exactly the same as the chord we just did. So it's gonna pinch again, strings four and one with my thumb and ring, so pinch. Then I'm gonna go to the second string, third string, and then back to the first string. So it's gonna go. All right, so the next chord is this. Notice the right hand pattern is exactly the same as what we just did, the last two chords, but what I'm doing here is my bar is now here on the second fret, and I usually bar strings one, two, three, and four. You don't need, actually need to go up to the fourth string, but I do. And then I'm adding my second finger to the second string, third fret, and then my third finger here to the fourth string, fourth fret. And I'm, like I said, the same right hand pattern, so it's pinch, second, third, first. Do that with me, and. 
that's the first two measures okay let's do that it's a lot just just right there it's a lot especially if this is new to you especially if bar chords are somewhat new to you all right so here we go from the top ready and All right, so let me play the next chord for you. All right, so this chord gets the entire measure, okay? So here we are, just like this, B flat major seven, my third finger's on the fourth string, third fret, second right below that on the third string, second fret, first finger on the second string, first fret, and then open first string. I'm gonna pinch now, again, strings four and one, I'm gonna pinch, second string, third string, but now I'm gonna come back to the second string again. So it's gonna go pinch, second, third, second. I'm gonna hold that out for just a second, and then I'm gonna go, the last three notes are first string, second string, third string. And that's just ring finger, middle, and index. All right, so that's, that's this whole B flat major seven. Let's play it, and. And the last part of it is this. All right, so what we have here is we have three note chords here, and these are gonna be block chords. So I'm gonna go, and so I'm gonna use my second finger here on the fifth string, second fret. Now with my right hand, I'm gonna hit the thumb here on the fifth string, and then my index is gonna be on the third string. My middle is gonna be on the second. I'm gonna pinch all three of those together. All right, and then I'm gonna do this. My right hand's gonna be exactly the same, so string five, three, and two, but my chord's gonna go basically like a D minor. I tell you, you're not playing all of the notes, so it's gonna go, and then you're gonna go. And so that pinch is open, fifth string now, and then my third finger's on the third string, second fret, and then my first finger's on the second string, first fret, because I'm holding the whole D minor. If you just want to do this, only the notes that you're playing, that's fine too, fingers one and two, but I'm going to do this and go and hit it twice. All right, so that's like going back to the whole little bar here. It's And then the last, one of the most recognizable parts is this. Just open fifth string, and I'm using my thumb, and I'm just going to slide with my second finger up to the eighth fret, and then I'm going to hit the seventh fret. And those are all on the fifth string. All right, so that's just, that's part A. And then you actually do it again. So let's go ahead and uh, go from the top. Here we go. Let's see how we do. All right, let's do it one more time. And... And then that's it. The second time you don't do that slide because it actually goes to the next part of the song. But I don't want to get into that today. I just wanted you to get this intro down. So there you go. There's how you play the intro, the stereo to heaven on our guitar lately. Good luck. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you're doing on this. If it's easy, if it's hard, if you like it. But uh, there you go. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.